Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If we haven't even met before, my name is Shiv and if you're coming back then welcome. In today's video I am filming this makeup look right here using the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette which is super exciting and this has re uh, launched in the past few weeks which is really exciting and it's absolutely gorgeous. This is the look that I came up up with. I've gone for like a halo spotlight kind of eye situation. I really like it. I think there's definitely loads more looks that you can create using this palette. If you would like to see how I created this look then please carry on watching and I shall show you how. Before you do please give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It means the absolute world and let's just carry on with the tutorial. So the first colour that I'm going to take is this one right here which is called Feels. So I'm going right in the feels. I'm taking this one here. It's like a kind of pinky mauve kind of colour. It's really pretty. So I'm going to take this as my first transition shade. And then I'm just going to use the brush that comes with the palette. I like this one because usually they kind of look the same but like they've pumped it up a little bit. It's kind of like see-through and it says Naked Cherry on it. It's got a little pencil brush on one side and a blending brush on the other. So I'm going to try the blending brush out for this. So I'm just going to go straight in into the shadow and then start by blending this into the crease of my eye. I'm gonna go for a bit of a halo eye with this look, I think, just because I haven't done one in ages. So I'm gonna blend this all throughout the crease in a kind of like rounded-ish kind of shape to start off with. So far, so good. Blending really nicely and smoothly. I'm not having any trouble with like heaps of fallout either. I find that Urban Decay shows do have a little bit of fallout, but I'm not really that fussed anyway, but not having a lot of fallout issues, which is good. I'm deciding to wing it out slightly towards the tail of my brow. The next shade I'm going to take is this one right here which is called Juicy which is like a peachy pink kind of shade and I've decided I'm going to apply it above the actual like crease colour that we put down with the feels before so I'm going to pop that kind of above it and I'm going to use this fancy coat blending brush to do it with, it's quite like soft and fluffy, just tapping off the excess and then just blending this on top of that shade just to further blend it out. Oh, I really like this shade. I think this is going to be a nice, like, everyday transition shade. Yep, love that. The next shade that I'll be taking is this one called Bing, which is really pretty. It's a darker cherry kind of colour, and I'm going to use this on my outer corner and inner corner of my eye. And the brush I'm going to use is the Primark 230 blending brush. It's basically a copy of the MAC 217. Just tapping off the eye excess. And then I'm just going to start building this up gradually on the outer and inner corners of the eye to create that halo eye kind of effect. Then I'm just going to go back in with that shade Feels just to help to blend it out. And I'm going to do this a couple of times, just go between the shades to really make it nice and diffused. Then I'm going to go back in with that shade Juicy just to further blend this all out. Then I'm going to take a mixture of Privacy and Devilish to do the kind of darker section of the halo eye. So Privacy is like a really dark, deep, ready brown. And then what is this shade? This is Devilish, which is a cherry shade. So I'm going to apply these on the outer corner of the eye and the inner corner of the eye. A nice triangle shape to really darken that outer and inner corner up. So I'm just going to mix them together using a little pencil brush that comes with the palette. And it's going to take a little while to build this up. It'll be so worth it. So I'm going to start with the inner corner. I'm not going to bring it right up to the centre, I'm going to leave a little gap. Okay, once we've built that up nicely, I'm going to go back into that kind of Bing shade with this brush right here just to blend it out. Sometimes. 
Now we're going to cut the crease and create like a spotlight eye kind of look. So I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define Concealer. This is in the shade C4. And I'm literally just going to do a dot here and then brush it down my eye. Like if I was looking straight ahead, my pupil would be in the middle. But I'm going to make it slightly bigger on either side and then make it go into like a point at the bottom. You'll see what I mean. The trick is with this, I think, is not to apply it too much. Just build it up. Otherwise, you end up with a whole eye full of concealer. And it's even too much on the brush. Just going to look straight ahead and then pull downwards like that. Look up and then it will transfer to where you want. Okay, I'm going to do one eye at a time so I don't mess it up. Mess yeah, mess it up. Okay, so I'm gonna take this brush from BH Cosmetics. It is the number nine brush. It's a nice flat shade brush. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of the I Heart Revolution Fixing Spray. A little shake. First brush I'm gonna take is the BH Cosmetics number seven Studio Pro brush. Just give it a bit of a spray with the I Heart Revolution Fixing Spray. And then the first shade I'm gonna go into is this one right here, which is called Young Love. It's a really pretty cranberry cherry color. I'm just going to pop this on like the outer part of that halo spotlight eye just where it touches the dark brown shade and then touches the concealer so it kind of meets in the middle. Oh that's pretty. Then I'm going to go back in with that really dark privacy colour, just to add back the darkness to the outer and inner corners, just very lightly. Then I'm just going to take this weird little short shader brush. This is the number 9 brush from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to take this gorgeous champagne colour called Turn On right in the centre of the eye. Next up, I'm just going to line my inner waterline with a black liner. This is the Sigma Wicked Long Work Gel Eyeliner Pencil. It's so good. I love this stuff. It stays on for ages as well, and it's nice and creamy. Then I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line, and to do that, I'm just going to take Bing right here with my Primark Blending Brush and just smudge that under the lower lash line. Then I'm just going to apply that dark privacy shade on the outer and inner section of my lower lash line just to kind of like mirror the halo eye we have on the top. I'm not going to apply a wing for this look but I am going to take this black liner and kind of smudge it on my upper lash line just to add some smokiness and definition to the eye. Then I'm just going to take an angled brush just to kind of smudge out the liner. Just work it into the lashes. Then I'm going to give my lashes a good old curl. Just using the Primark eyelash curler. Place that on and give it a little lift. And then pop on some mascara. I'm going to take the Urban Decay Troublemaker mascara for this. Then I'm going to pop on my lashes. These are from Lash Unlimited and these are in the style. Oh, can't get them out of the packet. I'm just going to pop on these number eight lashes from Lash Unlimited. Now moving on to my face, I'm going to start off by priming it using the Primark Primer Water. I'm just going to give it a good shake and spray it on. Then just give my face a good old fan dry. Then for foundation, I'm taking an old favourite. I used to use this when I was like 17, 18. And it's a Revlon Colorstay Combination Oily Foundation. The shade I'm taking is Natural Beige. It might be a little bit too dark for me, but we're going to blend it down the neck, so it should be fine. Oh, that first pump of a new foundation is so satisfying. I'm just going to blend this all over my face. Oh, this shade doesn't look too bad, actually. Hmm, what is this? This is Natural Beige. I'm just using the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge to really work it into the skin to create a nice flawless finish. This foundation has so such good coverage. I forgot how much I love this foundation. I was just picking a new one up because I was getting a bit bored of the Maybelline one I always use. Really 
Then I'm going to contour the face and just warm it up a little bit. And I'm going to take the Primer Contour and Sculpt Stick. I haven't tried this before. This is just in the shade brown. So I'm going to take the contour, the twisty, kind of, yeah, cool. So I'm just going to take this and contour my cheekbones. Oh, it's a lot darker than it looks. And then I'm going to put some of this on the tops of my forehead. Just going to shape the face a little bit. And then under my jaw as well. Under my lip to make it look poutier. Oh, that went a bit too far down. Oh well. Um, and then down the sides of my nose. Then I'm going to blend it out using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, which is perfect for blending out cream contour. Just going in a little kind of wiggly motions to really blend it out. Oh, I quite like this, you know, it's added some nice warmth to my forehead area. I'll just go in a little bit. I'll just go in with a little bit less product next time. Next, moving on to concealer, I'm going to go in with a Revolution concealer. This is in the shade C4. And I'm just going to highlight on my chin in the middle of my forehead. Of course, under my eyes to brighten that area up. I'm gonna do it in an upside down kind of triangle shape. This will really help to brighten that area up. A little bit on the tip of the nose just to kind of like brighten it and then down the center of the nose as well. A little bit above the lip just for, you know, for good measure. And then I'm going to blend it out using my Real Techniques sponge. Just in dabbing motions. Dab, 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 I'm just going to pop on some cream highlight and I'm going to go for like a pinky highlight to kind of match the cherry vibes. So I'm going to take the Etmore Beauty Liquid Illuminator in the shade Champagne Ice. It's their pinky kind of toned highlighter. I'm just going to pop some of this on the tip of my Miracle Complexion sponge. And then I'm going to dab this on both cheekbones as evenly as I can. Above the brow for a little bit of a glow. A little bit of my lip and the tip of my nose and then just blend that out. Then for my actual highlight, I'm going to be taking this pinky colour from the Sleek Makeup Solstice palette. I used to use it in every single tutorial, so you know it's well loved. As you can tell, that shade is completely hip pan. But I'm going to take the pink one right here. I'm just going to pop that straight on top of that liquid illuminator for a really vibrant, beaming, from the moon kind of highlight. Now to set my whole face into place, I'm taking a Technic Color Fit Technic Color Fix Powder. This is the water resistant press powder in the shade Bisque. It's just a kind of my skin color powder. So I'm just gonna take this to set my face. I'm gonna use my Spectrum's collection brush to do this. Moving on to contour, I'm going to take this shade here, which is called Ginger from the Nip and Fab Contour Kit. I'm going to apply it everywhere that I applied that cream stick concealer from earlier. I'm just going to use this BH Studio Pro 3 brush. Now for bronzer, I'm going to apply this bronzer here from NYX. This is the medium matte bronzer. As you can tell, I love it a lot because I've not only hit pan, I've hit the second bit of the pan. So I'm going to take this just using this big fancy co powder brush to bronze up my face. I'm just going to apply the bronzer in the shape of a three on the outer sections of my face to add a nice glow. For 
for blush, I'm going to go in with NARS Deep Throat, which is a deeper kind of blush that I own. So I think this will be perfect for this look. I'm just going to lightly dab this on the apples of my cheeks. I don't want it too intense, but I do want it to be noticeable. Then I'm just going to set my face. I'm going to take the I Heart Revolution Vanilla and Coconut Fixing Spray and just spray this all over. And then give my face a really good fan with my hands. So once my face feels dry, I'm going to set my brows into place. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel in the shade Chocolate. I'm just going to brush through my brows and then brush up the like head of the brow. Then I'm going to apply some mascara to my lower lashes. The lip liner I'm going to be applying is MAC Chicory Lip Liner. Just outlining my lips with my natural shape and overlining them a little bit. I'm just gonna put a little bit of extra powder on my chin. Then for lipstick, this is one I don't think I've used before in a tutorial, I don't know. This is the Scandalous Lipstick from Sleek Makeup, and this is a semi-matte lipstick, and it's a lip VIP. It's got really cool packaging. I'm just going to pop this on straight from the bullet. I think this lip goes perfectly with this. And this is the finished makeup look using the new Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette, which I'm super excited for and I cannot wait to keep playing with this palette. I love the way this makeup look turned out. I went for a different kind of look with this palette just to try something new with the halo eye and I really like the look that I paired with it. I think it goes really nicely. I really hope you enjoyed watching this kind of tutorial, first impression kind of video. I will be doing a full blog post on this palette, so please check out the description box below or go to shivsblog.com to see my my whole review on this eyeshadow palette and everything like that. If you did enjoy this video, please give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It means the absolute world and I shall see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Now moving on to the face. I'm... Hi. So I'm just going to mix them. Ooh. And then the... F then I'm going to blend... The good good measure. I'm gonna and then give my face. Ooh. Then I'm going to apply some mascara to my lower lashes. This is the Urban Decay Trouble Trouble Caker. <laughs> so the lip. Ooh.